The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. However, we physicists say that the universe was created in a Big Bang 13.7 billion years ago. The elusive concept of time, which governs our existence, has long perplexed scientists and philosophers. Renowned physicist Michio Kaku, known for his groundbreaking theories, has once again shaken the foundations of our understanding. In a stunning revelation, Kaku boldly declares that time does not exist. This statement, seemingly contradicting our everyday experience, has been ignited by recent revelations from the James Webb Telescope. But what exactly did the JWST reveal, and what mind-bending implications does it have on Kaku's theories? Join us as we explore the theories of Michio Kaku on how time does not exist and how the James Webb Telescope has just proved us wrong. Launched on Christmas Day in 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope follows in the footsteps of the iconic Hubble Space Telescope, but with upgraded features and capabilities. Positioned in the vastness of space, it acts as a window into the universe's deepest mysteries. It's like a time machine equipped with powerful infrared tools, allowing it to peer into the fabric of time itself. With its cutting-edge technology, the James Webb Telescope has been on a cosmic voyage since its launch, exploring realms previously beyond our grasp. It has been unveiling the ancient enigmas of distant galaxies and celestial bodies, as well as relics from the universe's infancy. Once hidden and largely unknown, these mysterious entities now take center stage in the universe's evolution. For decades, the prevailing theory described a universe born from a massive explosion eons ago. However, the images captured by JWST have since challenged this narrative, depicting a cosmos that surprises us at every turn. In the midst of this scientific revolution, astronomers like Allison Kirkpatrick from the University of Kansas confront profound questions. Their understanding of cosmic evolution, once firm, now faces uncertainty. The galaxies observed by JWST refuse to conform to our well-known and conventional theories, thereby forcing us to rethink our perception of our universe's origins and fate. Disparities in the sizes of galaxies through JWST simplify the complex puzzle presented by the James Webb Space Telescope. Let's envision the universe as an expanding balloon. According to the expanding universe concept, as galaxies move away from us, their light should appear to stretch, making them look larger. However, the JWST images reveal a surprising twist. Galaxies at great distances seem to be about the same size as those nearby. It's as if you expected distant friends to look like specks on the horizon, but instead, they're right beside you, just as large as life. Similarly, JWST images reveal galaxies that are about the same size as those near us. This defies expectations, especially when you consider that these galaxies are often brighter and more massive than our Milky Way. But these peculiar findings do not end here. The galaxies seen by JWST appear two to three times smaller than those observed by the Hubble Space Telescope, despite being more luminous and massive. Equally, these galaxies exhibit significantly higher redshifts, indicating they are moving away from us at a faster speed. Back in 2014, scientists noted this inconsistency when analyzing Hubble's images. Galaxies with redshifts up to 5 seem to behave as expected in a non-expanding universe. This trend continues with JWST, even for galaxies with redshifts as high as 12. In simpler terms, JWST images suggest that galaxies appear the same size regardless of their distance from us. This challenges the idea of an expanding universe, suggesting that redshift might simply be a function of distance. If we stick to the Big Bang theory, this poses a perplexing question. Are these distant galaxies unimaginably small, counterbalancing the supposed illusion of an expanding universe? It's a bit like imagining a grain of sand shining as brightly as a spotlight in the vastness of space. Take, for instance, the galaxy named GH2, which JWST observed. Despite being much brighter than our own Milky Way, it's incredibly compact, spanning a mere 300 light-years compared to the vastness of the Milky Way's 50,000 light-year expanse. This means that the brightness of GH2 per unit area is a staggering 600 times greater than the brightest galaxy we can see nearby. 
What's even more intriguing is that GH2 and other newly discovered galaxies are not only bright, but also incredibly dense, thousands of times denser than the galaxies we are familiar with. These dense, powerful galaxies challenge our understanding of the universe's expansion and the Big Bang theory, shaking the very foundations of our cosmic knowledge. Astronomers and cosmologists are as shocked as they are excited about these discoveries. The Hubble Space Telescope has captured images of many such dense and powerful galaxies, likened to the legendary Mighty Mouse from old cartoons, emphasizing their small size yet immense power. To make sense of these unusual compact galaxies, scientists have proposed a fascinating idea. It's similar to playing with a magical toy car that starts incredibly small, like a centimeter in length, but has the mass of a real SUV. They suggest that these micro-galaxies collide with each other over billions of years, gradually merging to form the larger galaxies we observe today. However, the James Webb Space Telescope has conducted a thorough examination of these galaxies and surprisingly found no evidence of cosmic collisions. If galaxies were indeed crashing into each other, we would expect to see some signs of chaos or distortion, much like a car after a minor accident. However, this is not what the JWST has observed. Instead, it reveals galaxies that are remarkably smooth and orderly, resembling those nearby. There is a distinct lack of any visible damage or evidence of collisions among these galaxies. One study known as Panic highlights this phenomenon, pointing out that there are 10 times more of these pristine spiral galaxies than theorists had predicted. This discovery is similar to discovering a bustling highway with fast-moving cars, but no accidents. It challenges the collision theory, which suggests that these small galaxies merge to form larger ones. If these galaxies did not grow in size through mergers, it implies that they were not small to begin with. Moreover, the expected optical effects from an expanding universe seem to be missing. Without these expected illusions, the concept of expansion loses some of its support. This has led to growing unease among proponents of the Big Bang theory, as the presence of these small, smooth galaxies suggests that the universe might not be expanding after all. If this is the case, the Big Bang theory faces a significant challenge, forcing scientists to rethink our understanding of the cosmos. Another intriguing aspect to consider is the age of stars. According to the Big Bang theory, everything came into existence following a massive explosion. However, if these galaxies existed before the supposed Big Bang, it would mean that the explosion didn't happen. This could completely revolutionize our understanding of the universe's origins. Think of the James Webb Space Telescope as a time machine, as Michio Kaku describes it, capable of peering billions of years into the past, capturing images that illuminate the universe's origins. This incredible device doesn't capture photos in our familiar visual spectrum. Instead, it focuses on the infrared, revealing the colors of galaxies so distant that we could never see them with our naked eye. The fascinating part is that these colors aren't just beautiful. They tell a story about the age of the stars in these galaxies. Young, fiery stars blaze with vivid blue hues, while their older, cooler counterparts, similar to our sun, glow in hues of yellow and red. By studying these colors, astronomers can estimate the age of the star populations in these distant galaxies. According to the Big Bang theory, the galaxies farthest away in the JWST images represent a cosmic snapshot from around 400 to 500 million years after the universe's birth. However, some of these galaxies seem to house stars that are over a billion years old. This poses a significant problem because nothing should be older than the Big Bang itself according to the theory. Another expectation of the Big Bang theory is that as we look farther into space, which means looking further back in time, we should see fewer and fewer galaxies until we reach a point where there are none, a cosmic dark age. However, it seems to be a different story. Galaxies as massive as the Milky Way were already quite common just a few hundred million years after the supposed Big Bang. The new images indicate that there are at least 100,000 times more galaxies than predicted at high redshifts, more than 10. This raises the question, how could so many large galaxies form in such a short time? The answer is they probably couldn't, at least not under the constraints of the Big Bang theory. This is why these discoveries are challenging the very foundation of our understanding of the universe.
Additionally, there's intriguing information that suggests the Big Bang Theory may be off the mark on quite a few things. Believe it or not, the Big Bang Theory's 16 contradictions have been highlighted by recent research. This suggests that the well-respected Big Bang Theory might be off the mark on several fronts. It's not just a single or couple of discrepancies. Astonishingly, this theory appears to miss the mark on a whopping 16 predictions according to recent studies. The only prediction it accurately forecasts is the abundance of deuterium, a type of hydrogen variant. But wait, there's more to this intriguing deviation from predictions. The Big Bang theory, revered for decades, overestimates the quantities of helium by double and lithium by a staggering 20 times compared to what we observe in the universe. Additionally, this foundational theory stumbles when it comes to explaining the existence of massive structures in the cosmos. According to its principles, these structures should not have had enough time to form since the universe's inception. Adding to the puzzle, the theory struggles with its predictions regarding the density of matter within the universe. But here's an unexpected twist. Remember those supposed asymmetries in the cosmic microwave background that were expected? They're nowhere to be found. It is as if the theory is weaving a story that reality isn't quite on board with. It's not just that the Big Bang Theory missed the mark on one or two predictions, which can be a normal part of scientific progress. Instead, it has encountered a staggering 16 anomalies that don't align with our observations. When a theory diverges so widely from reality, it naturally invites questions about its validity. This discrepancy is akin to having a map that continually misleads you by blocks rather than just missing a few street names. Despite these monumental revelations from the James Webb Space Telescope, the scientific community remains slow to adapt. You see, the Big Bang Theory holds significant cultural and scientific importance, akin to the impact of Darwin's theory of evolution. Some scientists even believe that questioning the Big Bang would be like denying evolution, relegating you to the fringes of the scientific community. However, one notable astronomer, Lerner, suggests an alternative theory known as the Big Bounce. This theory proposes that the universe is part of an eternal cycle of expansions and contractions, similar to the rhythmic beating of a heart. Instead of a singular beginning, the Big Bounce suggests that what we consider the Big Bang might have been just one of many bounces. However, the real question is how this theory aligns with Kaku's notion that time itself does not exist. Physicist Michio Kaku's assertion that time does not exist challenges the very foundation of our understanding of the universe. According to Kaku, our perception of time is a mere construct, an illusion created by our minds to make sense of the complex reality around us. This radical perspective is based on the latest findings from quantum physics and the nature of the universe at its most fundamental level. In the realm of quantum mechanics, particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously defying our conventional notion of time. In this context, time becomes a malleable and fluid concept, not the rigid, linear progression we experience in our daily lives. This perspective aligns with the findings from the James Webb Telescope, which suggests that our traditional understanding of the universe's origins and evolution may be fundamentally flawed. Just as the telescope's images challenge the Big Bang Theory, Kaku's theories about time urge us to rethink our place in the cosmos. Embracing this new paradigm opens the door to a deeper understanding of the universe, transcending the limitations of our current knowledge and potentially leading us to uncover the true nature of reality.